I'm a Firehouse Subs in Calhoun, Georgia. Sure. Could I get two pastrami Rubens? You want that small, medium, or large? Small, medium, or large what? Is there is the small cut in half or something? It's just three different sizes. If you wanted a small, medium, or large, two the medium you cut in half, and the two sizes too small. We'll take two smalls. You want two smalls? Yep. Okay, I need some nine three. Thank you, dear. You got that good, good love, and you may drive me insane. Let's go back and see if their version of a Reuben stacks up to the real thing. Let's head on back to the studios of Joe is Hungry, located in the little town of Fairmount, Georgia. Today, we went to Firehouse Subs to check out their new menu item. I think it's been on there in the past, and it's been resurrected, and it's back again. It's called the Pastrami Reuben Melt Swiss Sandwich. It comes with pastrami, melted Swiss, tangy coleslaw, Thousand Island dressing, and mayonnaise. It seems like anytime I get anything from Firehouse Subs, they always got mayonnaise on it. What is the fascination with mayonnaise, Firehouse Subs? You put it on everything, even barbecue. That doesn't mix. But we'll see if it does any good here today. As you can see, it comes in its oversized Firehouse bag. Let's go ahead and check it out. It comes in their little cardboard container that keeps it insulated and warm. They've adapted a hamburger diaper to it to be able to pick it up without it falling apart. It comes with its own pickle slice. I do love the pickle slices. I really appreciate you giving them to me. Let's take a look at the sandwich. I can see that my wife has gotten to this sandwich before we did the review. Fortunately for me, I bought two just for this very thing. Sandwich number two. Open this little container. Ooh, another pickle. I do love those pickles. I can see the Thousand Island dressing. The pastrami's hanging out of it. I can see their coleslaw. The bread is starting to get a little bit mushy. But before we go through all that, this is what it looks like. And this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like. And this is what it's supposed to look like. Like I said, uh, the juice is uh, kind of running through and making the bread a little bit soggy right here at the end. It's got a little mush going on. That's uh, kind of a small strike against it. I do like all the pastrami hanging out. You see that big hunks of fat hanging on into that? That, to me, is good. Maybe some of you don't like the fat hanging off of it, but I do. I'm popping the top on it, take a look at it, close it back up. The next thing we're gonna do is the Joe weight test. I don't have specs on this either. I don't know how much it's supposed to weigh, but for reference purposes, we'll throw it on the scale. I'll leave his hamburger diaper on. We'll throw it on the scales and it weighs in at 6.5 ounces. That being done, we have the weight. Get a little Diet Coke to clear the palate. Have to eat a little pickle to get the palate in the mood for pastrami. Hmm, not as good as the last one. We're gonna give that a 6.1. So let's go ahead and engage in the Joe Bite Test. As far as a Reuben goes, it doesn't really work for me. Doesn't even resemble a Reuben. Doesn't even taste like it. The mayonnaise in the sandwich makes the pastrami taste like bologna. So it's kind of a weird taste. It's not anything like any sort of a Reuben that I've ever had. The uh, tangy coleslaw really doesn't work with it. Um, say I'm really not that impressed with the sandwich. I use the Italian bread. It kind of leaves a bad aftertaste in your mouth. It's kind of a soggy deal. You can do a lot better. Today, 
I think we're gonna go with a uh, three six on this one. I didn't like the sandwich, uh, it wasn't that great. I don't see how they can even call that a Reuben. Kind of disappointing. No reflection on the staff there. Y'all do a good job there. Y'all do the best you can with what you're supposed to make. I've always got good service from the Calhoun Firehouse Subs. They have plenty of other stuff that's really good. This ain't one of them. I hope that was useful. I hope it keeps you from going out and trying it yourself. If you found this interesting, if you found this useful, subscribe to the channel. I need the subscriptions. Support the channel. Watch the channel. And we will see you in the next video. We will see you the next video, next video, next video, the next video. Hoorah! Wow. That was disgusting. Truly disgusting. To think. Burger King is actually better than Firehouse Subs. Wow. And like I say, I'm not really sure how you can make pastrami sandwich that's really very good on a sub sandwich that's steamed as opposed to cooking it in a, in a grill.